This screencast will walk you through installing the VMware Infrastructure ESX Servers Inpack and all of its dependencies. Let's start with the VMware Appliance from Xenos. I'm going to go ahead and log in, and let's go to the Infrastructure tab. From here, we can see that we do not have the ESX Top device class listed. So let's go ahead and get the VMware Infrastructure ESX Servers Inpack installed. I'm going to open the Extended Monitoring Guide PDF and go to Chapter 17, VMware Infrastructure ESX Server. Uh, down here we see the installation instructions and we're going to start with Step 1, install the OpenSSL Develop Package with YUM. I've already added a password for root as my for SSHing into my Xenos box. So let's go ahead and connect to that. And I'm going to yum install open SSL devel. And we'll go ahead and install that package. And once that's done, we will go ahead and go to the next step. From, from your VMware account, we're going to go ahead and download the VMware vSphere CLI. The URL is already included. Uh, we're going to go with version 4.1, click download, and make sure you're logged into VMware site. And we're going to accept the end user license agreement and we're going to get the 32-bit Linux installer since I'm using the 32-bit VMware appliance and after that finishes downloading I'm going to secure copy it to my box so let me so there I'm secure copy downloads VMware vSphere CLI uh, the tarball to my VMware appliance And now let's go ahead and SSH to that box. So there's our appliance. Let's untar it. And once that's done, we'll CD into the VMware vSphere CLI directory. And we're going to run the VMware install PL file, which if we go back to our installation guide, to our extended monitoring guide, we'll see that step 4B there and we let's go ahead and view the license agreement one more time accept it let's copy into the system uh, we're going to install in user bin and it's all done now that we've installed the VMware vSphere CLI let's go ahead and use our test command here from the extended monitoring guide paste that into our Connection here, make sure you set your server. My server is called ESX4 here at Xenos. And set your username. And it's going to ask for your password. And that's going to spit out a whole bunch of content. And that's what Xenos is going to use to monitor. So that's how we know the command's working. Now that our RESX top command is working, uh, let's go ahead and set up, or let's go ahead and download and install the Zen Pack. So let's go to our Xenos community site, and we're going to go to the VMware Infrastructure ESX Server Zen Pack, and go ahead and download the attachment there. Uh, let's go back to our console and uh, log out of the VMware appliance. Go to our downloads directory, and we're going to unzip that Zen Pack. And let's go ahead and install it. So you're going to need to go to the Advanced tab. And under Settings, we're going to go to Zen Packs. And right here, we're going to choose Install Zen Pack. And grab that egg. Make sure you don't install the zip. And that'll take a few seconds to install. And once that's finished installing, we're going to go back over to the Infrastructure tab. And 
look under here under server virtual machine host we now see our ESX top device class so let's go ahead and add our ESX server name of our box is ESX4 go ahead and add that and that'll take a few seconds to add so we can go watch the job log as that adds so what this is doing is, is discovering the box it's going to add it to Xenos and then once that's done uh, it will get listed over here on our infrastructure tab so rather than sit around and wait for that let's go ahead and just come back here and we're going to add our credentials under ESX top let's go to details and set configuration properties uh, we're going to set the uh, username and the password the Z command username and the Z command password for all of our ESX top machines this will be inherited by our new machine that we add and let's go up here to the infrastructure tab go back to the infrastructure page and we see our ESX box has been added and let's go ahead and model it right here we can see we're running the ESX top modeler plugin uh, that's going to go and find our uh, VMs and other information collected by uh, ESX top so when you see it shutting down and we'll just reload this page and there we see our list of our virtual machines click on one of these if we go to the graphs we will see the performance graphs provided by ESX top uh, here we see we have timers per second, CPU usage, and contention factors. Right now it's showing not a number. Uh, those need a few cycles to collect. Uh, we also see a graphs tab for the ESX server itself. Down here at the bottom we have free memory and CPU load provided by ESX top. So that's what you get with the VMware uh, infrastructure uh, ESX servers in pack.